And we're going to have open phones throughout the three-hour broadcast and cover a mountain of vital news and information as we chronicle what the tyrants are doing and what the dumbed-down zombies are up to and how that uh, is basically being confronted by the expansion of human awakening that's taking place. It is the best of times. It is the worst of times uh, all at the same time here. Obviously, they are trying to pass so-called immigration reform. It is a 1,200-page bill that was only available Friday, and they are saying they're set to vote on in the Senate today and say they have 70 votes. The bill has now been scanned, and I have the mainstream news breaking it down. Basically, total legalization of illegals, cutting back the Border Patrol, uh, extra welfare for illegals, uh, just basically wide open borders. I mean, Mexico doesn't do this for Guatemala or El Salvador or Nicaragua. Or if you go on down more south, Ecuador or Brazil or Chile, no one does this. No one, no other country acts or behaves like this except England and a few northern European countries who have globalists running them who want to bring in political groups who can be organized these groups can be organized into liberty lovers as well, but they're not going to be. Organized into socialist because they see the government as their friend, but the government's not their friend. It's globalists here that want to drive down the wages and who are waging war on any sovereign nation. Rand Paul's like, sure, let's have a path to citizenship and legalization for people that want to you know, go through a legal process. Let's try to even speed that up because it is hard to become a legal citizen here. 10 to 15 to 20 years. They suck all this money out of you. They make it where they don't want you to do it legally. They make it where it is to be illegal. More articles out where in one city, the illegals got 40 plus million dollars, 46 million dollars in just one year of fake tax returns. Yeah, one household in Austin got 80 something million dollars and then was left alone. That's because the household isn't getting that money. There's government mafias that use illegals to do it because illegals are known for not talking and not seeing something and saying something because they don't trust the government. And so if they're told to do these deals, they do them. They don't get any of that money, folks. They don't send $81 million to one house in South Austin to a family of 10 people. That money is sent by the government to them and then paid through banks and laundered out. But there's the latest, IRS sent $46 million in refunds to unauthorized workers at one Atlanta address alone. Notice they call it unauthorized workers, not illegals. <laughs> they use the illegals as a black market group that they can use and abuse. That's why the illegals are above the law and drunk driving and all the rest of it. Because they're owned by the global mafia. And they're like, no, the, government, the police, you don't get any beak dipping little bites off these people they belong to us and if we want to use them in an illegal textile plant slave labor in houston we'll do it and if we want to kidnap their little kids we'll do it these people don't exist they're ghosts and the globalists rape them up one side and down the other just like they do in mexico and latin america and africa and eastern europe and then say oh let's bring 30 million more in here prove you're not racist Unbelievable. We're going to break all that down. The latest on the Snowden soap opera. The latest on the clear murder and cover-up of the murder of Michael Hastings and what he was investigating when his car exploded, shooting the engine down the street. Stay with us. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Monday, the 24th day of June, 2013. I am your host, Alex Jones. We're going to be here for the next three hours, and I will take masses of phone calls, old-time callers, first-time callers, 
callers that agree, disagree, you've got questions, you've got comments. It's three hours of phone calls and news here today on this Monday transmission as we blast out on the AM and FM dial, simulcast on XM, Global Shortwave, WWCR, uh, the podcast, the live feeds, the video feeds, everything at Infowars.com forward slash show to find the free podcast, the free iPhone app, the free Droid apps, everything right there at Infowars.com forward slash show and PrisonPlanet.com forward slash show. Uh, show as well. If it doesn't go to that page, uh, maybe we should redirect uh, off of that and do that. Okay, here's what's coming up. Number one, I want to get into the whole extradition issue and how they're even threatening uh, to divert the plane they thought he was on from Moscow that was going to Cuba. Uh, the uh, sources, according to RT, in the United States. Uh, government were talking about diverting the aircraft with F-16s to land it to get Snowden. And now there's all sorts of media demonization because it turns out that uh, Mr. Snowden donated to Ron Paul. Surprise, surprise, he's a liberty lover. How evil. Uh, and you've now got mainstream news in the U.S. calling for the arrest of the American writer for The Guardian, Mr. Greenwald, uh, who reported on the NSA information and, and cheerleading that, hey, let's start arresting members of the press. And where is the mainstream media when Michael Hastings' car blows sky high and his emails and uh, tweets say, the, the FBI's after me, they're going after my friends and family, uh, I'm going into hiding, I'm going off the radar, and then his car blows up driving down the road, and we're not supposed to even say, hey, could it be foul play? Kind of like Breitbart. Within 45 minutes of him being at the hospital, and they announce no foul play. In the announcement, he's dead. When no coroner even looked at him for a week. And then didn't make an announcement for a month. And they day one say, Hastings was a natural, you know, death from the car wreck, not foul play. And they day one say Breitbart, who said he was going to bring down the White House and had the total bombshell uh, coming out. It was all over. And then magically he falls down and dies. And then now the coroner that did the autopsy, World Net Daily is reporting, months after that we first told you that we thought that was the coroner that worked on him. Indeed, it was the coroner that worked on Breitbart. And indeed, he was poisoned with arsenic. And now they're looking at it as a murder. At first they said, oh, he probably accidentally got poisoned with it. It takes a lot of it to kill you, folks. And, of course, it, that should have been looked at as foul play. You see, a lot of times they kill whoever knows what really happened. You're threatened. You're told, shut up. Don't talk about Breitbart's cause of death. And then... They like to tie up loose ends, then he dies. He's killed with poison. There's our article, April 30th, 2012, and it's out in World Net Daily today that they're now looking at it. So again, ladies and gentlemen, the issue is they murdered Pat Tillman. They killed him execution style, and then gave you a story that he died fighting Al-Qaeda, charging an Al-Qaeda machine gun nest. Al-Qaeda machine gun nests don't exist, ladies and gentlemen, unless they're being deployed by USC 130s against enemies in Libya, Syria, or areas in North Africa. The only time there's an Al-Qaeda machine gun nest is when they're pinned down and there's U.S. air support bombing for them. Al-Qaeda was created by our government, the Israelis, Saudi Arabia, and the Pakistanis, along with British intelligence. That's on record. It was created by Jimmy Carter and Zbigniew Brzezinski. And Pat Tillman was murdered, and the coroner wouldn't lie in the Army. The Army colonel said, no, he was killed. He was shot at a few feet away, triple burst, or a three-shot burst, across the frontal lobe of the brain. And then later the whole story came out how they shot him from about 100 yards away. 
His body armor deflected a lot of it. He fell down behind a rock and said, I'm Pat Tillman. I'm part of your unit. He stood back up and waved his arms, said, I'm friendly. They shot him again. And then they said, everything's all right, Pat. Now we understand. And they came up and he said, why'd you shoot me? And they said, because we're here to kill you. <laughs> and shot him in the head. Just like Private Lynch had five members of her unit killed in one week after they started speaking out, saying that she cowered in fear the entire time. It was all to be a big PR thing with movies and books and how the woman fought and the men cowered. And it was General McChrystal on record who covered up, who came up with a fake story on Pat Tillman about how he was died battling Al-Qaeda. And then it was McChrystal that had the whole cover up. And of course, we can do two plus two equals four. It was clearly McChrystal over special forces and over the entire Afghanistan command who the evidence directs towards would have given the order Or Pat Tillman to get fragged. You can take one look at McChrystal and that guy is right out of Hellraiser. You can take one look at that guy until he's gone over completely. Completely to the dark side. He knows what, what he's doing. He likes it. He likes it a lot. He's a winner. Anybody else gets in his way is a loser. And they're winners taking people's private bank accounts all over Europe, not just Cyprus. And they're the winners taxing you and designing the tax system where it's impossible to be middle class anymore worldwide. And they're the ones that have decided they're going to throw it all in your face. It's all over the news today that, oh, all the new cable boxes and the new Connect and all the new TiVos watch and listen to you. And the, and the companies, AT&T, Google, Apple, Microsoft, they all admit they're watching and listening to you. And so Congressman Jones of North Carolina and others have introduced a bill saying they're going to make it illegal for private companies to do that, which it already is illegal. And then it's come out in the news that the NSA is actually inside Microsoft, Google, Apple, AT&T, Amazon, and that they are watching everything you do and have built NSA bases within all of these facilities. I told you in 1996, that was the case. And how did I know this? Because it was all public. It was all the Telecommunications Act. But the naive public would say, Alex... There's no way that's in the Telecommunications Act. Even though I was giving them the subsections, they would call in on local FM radio and tell me I was a liar because that's illegal to spy on people without warrants in America. Just like it's on record that every major defense contractor that transports people is running giant sex slavery rings worldwide, including small children, including snuff films. Comes out in Congress, comes out Chicago Tribune, comes out BBC. And it only comes out to blackmail different groups when they get out of line. And then no one comes to save the children. No one comes to help them. People are like, oh, there's no way the government's doing that. that that's too much. I'm not going to look into that. Well, no one's going to look into it when they take you to a FEMA camp. No one's going to look into it when they take your bank account. No one's going to look into it when you get cancer when, you, when you're 25 years old or when your kid's 10. No one's going to look into it when the CPS takes your nine-year-old daughter because you didn't vaccinate or when there's no law, but they just say it's neglect and go and give them five years of shots in one day and your daughter has a convulsion and they give them back to you and she can't talk anymore. That's what happened with the uh, girl that got tasered, the 11-year-old walking naked down the street. Father told us all about that. That's what happened. That's what America is, folks. They come and they take your kid and they take them and lobotomize them with chemicals. 
And then if you don't like it, they'll kill you. <laughs> and everybody bows in fear and everybody grovels and everybody gives in. And so we go into total bondage. And we give them our kids. We give them everything. And they're going to butcher us up one side and down the other. And they're not going to give us any mercy or any quarter. And the more we beg, the more they're going to gouge our eyeballs out. When you could have stood up at any time and defeated these people by just telling them who they are and withdrawing your consent. But you wouldn't do it. And so the forces of hell that have been pouring out on every other nation are now to be pouring out on the West. All the blessings will be lost. All the curses will be delivered. Hell and the four horsemen will ride down America just as we've written down 53 million babies with abortion. The important thing about the Pro One filter today is that the material we use for removing fluoride and other heavy metals now will remove the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. There's no other fluoride reduction filter out there that will remove that type of fluoride. And it's extremely important because Today, we're hearing more and more cities are using that form of fluoride. We've been having medication forced on us through the water system for quite a while. Most people don't realize it. Most people don't realize the negative effects of fluoride. There's a wide range of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. Bottom line, why should somebody get this new Pro One Pro Pure filter? The reason to buy the Pro One, it's an all-in-one filter. It's convenient, easy to use. It doesn't require the add-on fluoride filter. And in addition, this filter removes the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. You know why everyone is so tense? And why at the same time people more and more are becoming aware it's because we have a sixth sense. We have a spiritual discernment, all of us do to a certain extent. And we know we're entering that event horizon quadrant of human history where the future to a great extent is being dictated. There are times in history when more happens in a year than happened in the previous hundred. And we are entering that area right now. We are entering the jump point. And what we do now will govern the future to a great extent. Make no mistake. That's why I am at peace and committed to go up against the globalist as hard as I can. Because the worst of the worst are in control. I mean, I was watching video this morning of uh, Chucky Schumer talking about how they need to prosecute Snowden and just the evil radiating out of him. Uh, not just his actions, but, but uh, just, just the discernment and watching him, I mean, I would go to the other side of the street to not walk by that guy. Just crazed, animated with evil intelligence. That really concerned me at my core. And I look at people like General McChrystal, same thing. These are evil, evil people that have turned themselves over to wickedness and are just super bad. Super wicked. I mean, how did Hastings think he was going to go burn that general and not get destroyed? Because there's one thing about these people. There's strange rules that I've always followed instinctively just from a sense of justice that so many people don't understand. If you ever work with the New World Order or any other crime syndicate and then you cross them one micron, they will kill you out of hand. That is a rule. See, I, people ask why I'm alive. I have never worked with the dark side. I have never, I have come at this like a child. I have come at this just simply trying to be loving and do the right thing. I come off as rage-filled a lot because I'm frustrated and I'm angry and I'm concerned. And I'm committed. My life is committed to this. And so there's a lot of energy in that. There's a lot of power in that. And there's a lot of frustration in that. 
because I know the stakes. I know I'm telling the truth. I know how real this is. And I wish you knew out there how real this was and how serious the stakes are. They're going to make the last century's death toll look tame, my friends. And if you look at cycles from the history, they usually have a large world war between the 15 and the 20. World War I, a world war before that with uh, Napoleon in the known you know, Western world. They had another big world war 100 years before that. And then if you also look back to around 40 to 50, they have large wars then. Civil wars tend to come in the 60s. And then you learn, oh my gosh, this is all engineered. The establishment understands these cycles and is riding them. And then you read books by Zbigniew Brzezinski and Carol Quigley and countless others. And what you already reverse engineered word for word is written there, but from their evil perspective. And they're looking right back at you going, yeah, yeah, we know you see us. You're a fool not to join us. Because all we're doing is giving you true human nature. If the public wasn't meant to be slaves, they wouldn't be. That's their attitude, and it's a lie. Really, is that why you try to keep them down and dumb them down? They're like, well, if you don't know not to drink fluoride and not take vaccines, that's not your problem. And then you go and coerce people and take their kids from them to shoot them up? No, you guys are filthy, degenerate, inbred bullies. And if any bloodlines need to be wiped out, it's yours. But I'm not going to make that decision. You will wipe yourselves out, probably the rest of us with you, in your own subconscious hatred of yourself. I would rather not see this elite destroy themselves and us along with them. I really want to see you guys turn back from the dark side. I really want to see you repent and be given true knowledge and true power. You think the God of this world is not going to sell you down the river? 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. We've opened the phones up. Whatever you want to talk about, I'm ready to hear it. 800-259-9231. I'll hit the open border, end of America, North American Union, the immigration news, the Snowden news, the Hastings news. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at infowars.com forward slash show.